very good morning to everyone. Today we will be presenting our term paper presentation titled Grain Harvesting Mechanization. We are from Group 6. My name is Pravin Mahendran. My name is Emilina. And my name is Muhammad Kaisna Shafiq. Okay, let me start with the introduction. For introduction, the grain harvest mechanization has revolutionized with the agricultural industry by streamlining the process of harvesting grain crops. Next, it involves the use of advanced machinery and technologies to efficiently cut, gather, separate and store grain, resulting in increased productivity and reduced labor requirements. Not only that, by automating and optimizing the harvesting process, grain mechanization has transformed the way farmers produce and manage their crops. So for the objective, we have four objectives here. Firstly, to understand the significance of grain harvest mechanization in modern agriculture. Not only that, to explore the benefits and advantages of grain harvest mechanization for farmers and the agricultural industry. Uh, thirdly, it will be to examine the key components and processes involved in grain harvest mechanization machines. Lastly, to highlight the role of modification and advancement, advancements in harvesters. Okay, there we have three important, these are the importance of grain harvesting mechanization. Firstly, to enhance food security. Next is to sustainable farming practices. And lastly, economic benefits. So, grain industry in Malaysia. The grain industry in Malaysia today is characterized by a diverse range of crops, including rice, corn, wheat, among others. While the country is renowned for its tropical crops, the government recognizes the importance of developing a robust and self-sufficient grain sector. Malaysia's grain industry faces unique challenges such as limited arable land to, due to the urbanization and need to optimize resources utilization, utilization in water scarce regions. Additionally, there is growing emphasis on modernization and mechanization to enhance productivity and efficiency. Not only that, to support the grain industry, the government has implemented policies and initiatives aimed to aim at increasing domestic production and reducing reliance on imports. Finally, these effort, efforts include providing financial support, disseminating technical knowledge and promoting the adoption of innovative farming practices. Sustainable agriculture practices and precision farming technologies are being encouraged to optimize yields, conserve resources, mitigate environmental impact. Thank you. Okay, for the type of harvesting in grain production, they have three uh, combined harvester, two-way reaper binder, and single row harvester. So, uh, how does a combined harvester work? Uh, combined harvester is a highly efficient agricultural machine used for harvesting grain crops. It performs multiple functions in a single operation, making the harvesting process faster and more effective. Uh, this is a, is a summary of how a combined harvester works. First is cutting and gathering. Uh, two, threshing. Three, separation. Four, cleaning. Five in loading uh, and less is his seduce management. Uh, this is uh, the part of the combined harvester. You can see cutter bar, rails, conveyor, threshing cylinder, and so on. Next, this is the main part and component for the combined harvester. Uh, you can you can see first is crop divider. The uh, function is the crop divider help in separating the standing crop during harvesting. Threshing is to for consists of a rotation drop drum with bar, teeth and or ribs bar, and so on. Throw worker, grain collector, rail, blower, uh, rake grain tank next last is combined harvester maintenance uh, first is feed the house adjustment threshing adjustment grain cleaning adjustment tool and accessory that require repair closely ex examine ex examine argue check the gearbox and its component. Okay, the second the second mission will be two-way 
refer binder. How does a two-way refer binder work? A two-way refer binder is an agricultural machine that combines the functions of cutting and binding grain crops in a single operation. Not only that, here's a summary of how a two-way reaper binder works. Firstly, cutting. The machine is occupied by a cutting mechanism at the front, usually a sickle bar or a reciprocating knife. It makes a move through the crop field, cutting the trending crops and forming a sweat. Next, it gathering and binding. Once the crop is cut, the two-way reaper binder collects the crops using a reel or gathering belt, which transport it towards the binding mechanism. Thirdly, binding. The binding mechanism consists of a knotting device and twine. As the crop passes through the binder, the knotting device wraps twine around the crop, creating bundles or sheaves. Uh, fourthly will be formation of windrows. After the binding process, the reaper binder deposits the bound sheaves on the ground, forming windrows or row of bundles. Lastly will be drying and collection. The windrows are left in the field to dry, allowing the grain to mature and the moisture content to decrease. Okay, as you can see, this is the two-way reaper binder. It, it consists armrest, header clutch handle, diesel engine, gear plate, belt cover, chain cover, toolbox, driving wheel, header panel, cutter, crop divider device, and crop divided wheel. As you can see here, these are the main parts and components of two-way binder machine. Which for the first main component part will be armrest, gear plate, chain cover, cutter, crop divider device, crop divider wheel, toolbox, and these are the functions. Okay, as you can see, the two-way reaper binder has maintenance where regular cleaning after each use, cleaning the reaper binder through holy to remove any crop residue, dirt, or debris. Secondly, lubrication. Proper lubrication is essential to keep the moving parts of the reaper binder functioning smoothly. Uh, thirdly will be inspection and adjustment routinely inspect the reaper binder for signs of wear damage or misalignment fourthly will be blade maintenance where monitor the condition of the cutting blades regularly and lastly will goes to the storage and winterization properly store the reaper binder during periods of non-use or winter months so how does a single row harvester work first digging or cutting second conveying third separating and cleaning fourth spot sorting and grading and the fifth disposal of waste so this is the single row harvester so these are the main parts and the components first the snapping rolls the function of snapping rolls is to grip the corn stalk and break the ears of corn away from the plant allowing the efficient separation as for the snouts, function to guide and collect the corn parts as they are cut. As for the conveying system, this system typically consists of bells or chains that move the corn towards further processing. As for the cleaning and separation, after shelling, the harvested corn passes through a cleaning and separation process. This involves the use of sieves or screens to remove any remaining debris or impurities ensuring a clean harvest and the last the shelling unit this component treasures the corn separating the grain from the remaining husk and cobs so this is the maintenance of the single row harvester first regular cleaning uh, after use after each use clean the harvester through to roughly removing any debris, dirt and plant residues and this prevent build up, corrosion and potential damage to the machine and second, inspect and replace belts and chains as check the belts and chain regularly for sign of wear, damage or tension issues replace any damage or worn out belts and chains promptly to avoid breakdowns during operation. The last is lubrication. As for lubrication, regularly lubricate all moving parts and pivot points to reduce friction and prevent premature wear. As for the advantages and disadvantages for two-way reaper binder, as for the reaper binder advantages, it could have efficient harvesting in which the function of cutting and binding in a single machine can cut the crops and immediately bind them into bundles and sheaves 
in which also reducing the time and labor required for manual bundling. Also, it could lab, it could uh, save a labor and also increase productivity. Uh, as for the disadvantages of two-way reaper binder, it could be dependence on favorable weathers, size and portability, and maintenance and repair. So the advantages and disadvantages of single row harvester. The advantages of single row harvester, it could be cost effective in which the machines are generally less expensive compared to high to larger multi row harvester. They are more affordable for small scale, small, small scale farmer. Next is the flexibility. The machines are typically compact and lightweight in which makes them highly flexible, especially in small areas with tight space. And also the versatility. The single row harvester can be used for a variety of crops such as potatoes, carrots, and beets. As for these advantages of single row harvester, it could be limited capacity in which the machine has lower harvesting, capacity in which designed to harvest crops in a single row. Next, the slower harvesting speed in which the machine has slower harvesting speeds that can result in longer harvesting times and may require additional labor or equipment to keep up with the demand. Then the last is limited functionally in which the single row harvester are specifically designed for harvesting crops in a single row in which it may not have the capabilities to perform additional tasks. Okay, for the influence of farm mechanization on prices as well as the economy. So the benefit of agriculture mechanization is uh, the first one is a positive influence on cost, production value, revenue and return date. And then uh, the other benefits of agriculture in mechanization is it improves the yield of all crops in terms of grain crops uh, into 1.541%. And then uh, it also enables reallocation re of labor and promotes rural development. So the next is impact of uh, agriculture mechanization on income. First one is a study using sample modified indigenous merging model threshold effect model. Mechanization positively uh, influence cost, production value, revenue, and return rate. And each yield will improve uh, 1% uh, when using mechanization. Mechanization raises revenue through factor intensification and quality improvement. So uh, the mechanization on farm profitability is uh, increased yield, reduced labor requirement, automation of harvesting uh, process for improved profitability, and then uh, the next one is upfront investment in specialized machinery, which is combined harvester uh, and grain cuts. For next, the next one is uh, factor influ influencing machine prices, with capacity, size, feature, and the brand. Uh, and the last one is uh, infra infrastructure expansion cost, storage and the facility. So uh, other influence uh, of farm mechanization, me mechanization on prices as well as uh, the economy is <coughs> uh, cost saving and competitive pricing. So when using mechanization in uh, farming, the mechanization leads the operation efficiency and reduce labor expenses like I just explained earlier. Uh, and then it also uh, time savings and a low uh, management, larger land area and increased productivity, lower production costs result in more competitive pricing. And then uh, expansion of operation and economic uh, of scale for larger farms. So, and the next is uh, technological advancement in agriculture mechanization, uh, which is the first one is autonomous system and position agriculture. Uh, increase production and reduce operating expenses, optimize resource utilization and improve crop management. Uh, okay. uh, and in environmental benefit through waste reduction and sustainable practices. 
by using uh, farm mechanization, it also promote the agriculture mechanization in farm, uh, which is uh, increase agriculture machinery subsidies, research and promote machinery suitable for cash crops, uh, boost socialized uh, agricultural services, support farmers in adopting new agriculture tools and machinery. Okay, this is a modification can be done and applicable in Malaysia. The first one is uh, the combined harvester, which is Kubota DC105X. Uh, this is the key features of the Kubota that can be modified to be used in Malaysia. So the next one is uh, the function of Kubota is harvested grain storage enhancement. Modification can be done to the combined harvester to improve grain storage capabilities. This can involve adding moisture sensor, temperature monitoring system, airtight storage compartment to maintain grain quality during storage. Uh, for the header, modi header modification is the header com uh, of combined harvester can be modified to suit different crops and field condition. This includes adjusting the cutting width, adding crop, specific attachment or header, uh, which is uh, uh, corn header and uh, rice header for the uneven trade. And incorporating feature like adjustable cutter bars or floating heads for better ground contour following. Next. Uh, okay, this is uh, the two-way uh, reaper modification. Uh, the first modification is uh, the adjustable cutting height mechanism, which is 50 mm to 300 mm. Durable and weather resistant material, crop adaptability and width modification, interchangeable header uh, for various crops, header widths, rice adjustable, uh, and then for the corn, 400 to 600 millimeter, and width 1800 uh, to 2200 mm, and for other vegetable, uh, 1500 to 1800 mm quick release mechanism for easy attachment and detachment and the benefit of the modis, this modification is uh, enhanced uh, harvesting efficiency precise cutting height adjustment for different crop types and different condition resistant to corrosion optimal performance with, with durable material greater flexibility adaptability with uh, interchangeable header compatibility with existing two-way reaper machine in Malaysia and uh, last one is a cost-effective improvement without the need of uh, new machinery. Yes. Okay, the uh, last is uh, the enhancing of single row harvester efficiency in Malaysia. The single row uh, harvester modification which is suitable for Malaysia is uh, improved cooling system, adjustable cutting height, hydraulic mechanical mechanism for precise cutting, High adjustment to uh, 50 mm to 300 mm, endurance to weather resistant material, stainless steel or hardened alloy, and flawlessly integration of top performance with the specific harvester model. And the cooling system adjustment, uh, this is been known because Malaysia is hot and humid environment. Larger radiator for effective heat dispersion, updated fan system with better airflow. Moisture prevention measure, seal electrical connection, protective covering, and the last one is uh, easy access for maintenance, maintenance and cleaning. And the collection for, and discharge system is uh, effective of collecting capacity for harvested crop, smooth and control discharge with conveyor belt similar to mechanism, debris separating system for control, quality control, and easily accessible uh, cleaning point for maintenance and cleanliness. As for conclusion, grain mechanization plays a crucial role in modern agriculture, offering significant benefits to farmer and the overall food production system. And also, through the adoption of mechanized grain harvesting equipment, such as combined harvester, farmers can achieve increased efficiency, improve productivity, reduce labor requirements, and also enhance grain quality. And the automation and advanced technologies integrated into these machines streamline the harvesting process, enabling timely and effective crop harvesting. Thank you.